Uh, there's a big report at the Daily Poll. We've also got this linked up on InfoWars.com. A uh, video uh, of it actually happening. CNN Disinfo refuses to use their own poll and scores of other scientific polls that showed Ron Paul winning at 79% and higher. And they used some private fake poll they did with 54 respondents to show Ron Paul with zero votes. And that's what they put out on the news. Uh, but only in the fine print did it show that it was only 54 votes. Romney with 51%, Bachman with 21, uh, Palenti with 9, Gingrich with 7, Kane, Herman Kane with 4, Santorum with 4, Paul with 0. So on National News, they're saying, oh, Ron Paul, 0. Not telling you it was some internet poll they posted where nobody could see it, and that their own real poll, 79% voted. So that's, that's how they do sleight of hand. That needs to be investigated, I tell you. They are so incredibly disingenuous, and there's video of it. Uh, there's screenshots of it, and then there's screenshots and video uh, of all the other polls, CNBC, uh, Fox, you name it. And uh, CNBC did the same thing. Uh, they showed 54 votes uh, with Romney with 51. In fact, it was a CNBC uh, poll that CNN used. Uh, some internet poll that I guess no one even was able to see. I mean, we put a poll up on InfoWars, and it gets five, 6,000 in a day. Uh, but the CNBC poll had 54 votes, and that's what CNN used uh, to be specific, showing Ron Paul with zero. When their own CNN poll that we have video of in a screenshot showed him winning by 79. That is how desperate uh, the system is starting to get right now. The headline, video, CNN, disinfo, refuses to use own poll. Ron Paul win at 79%, reports zero. I mean, whether you like Ron Paul or not, I happen to love him. This is the deception we're talking about. This is what the mainstream media does, and that's why the mainstream media more and more is not the mainstream media. In fact, it's a paper tiger. The top shows on MSNBC might have a million. Uh, most of their shows have 300, 400,000. That's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Mainline talk radio in big cities like New York or L.A., the top radio shows that are only on in those cities can have upwards of a half million listeners conservatively in an hour. And they're a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks for a one-minute ad. And then meanwhile, the same one-minute ad on MSNBC is 10, 15, 20,000. Again, it's all a fraud. It's a scam. It's a total and complete joke. All right, I'm, I'm starting to rant on that issue instead of finishing up with the whole TSA situation.